Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to today's video. I am getting ready to make breakfast. You saw me just like this yesterday because for me, it's the same day. Um, I'm just getting our breakfast done ahead of time. That way I don't have to worry about it in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you. I'm kind of going with the flow, making up a recipe. I'm looking at my chocolate peanut butter chia seed pudding recipe for breakfast, but I'm gonna alter it and also alter like a overnight oats. So I don't even have an overnight oats recipe in front of me, but I'm gonna wing it and we're just gonna get these things going. So we're gonna make some overnight oats, some chia pudding recipes, but with some homemade apple pie filling stuff that I just made, we stopped and got some uh, some fruits and veggies from a local farmer this weekend, and I just made some apple pie filling with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these going and I'll share with you how I make them, um, but we'll see what comes out of it. So do I know what I'm doing? No. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. So we've got, we're gonna do two, oatmeal, two chia pudding, actually three oatmeal, but two for the house. This one's going to be for my husband for work. So we've got some oatmeal in there. I don't know how much. We're going to do about a quarter cup of chia seeds in both of these. We're going to do a few tablespoons of honey in each. I mean, this is not honey. You could do honey though, maple syrup or honey. I'm gonna do a little bit of flax seed in each. Man, all I'm doing is making a mess with everything. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. We're gonna put some honey, vanilla, Greek yogurt in them. Got a cup of milk. I'm gonna add a little bit more oatmeal to his. And a little bit of chia seeds to his. Mix these around, and then we're gonna add some apple pie filling. I made the apple pie filling in yesterday's video. If you missed that, you can go back and watch that. All right, and we'll see what these look like in the morning.
everybody. Welcome back. I think I said that earlier. Well, yesterday. I forgot. But anyway, we are back. It's 1240. We went to the orthopedist, orthopedic this morning. Um, and Everly's okay. Her break is funky. This and then like this on her toe. Um, but they just put her in a walking boot. Said it'll heal. So there you go. It'll heal. I said it'd be different kind of if it was an adult, but kids heal a lot faster and a lot better. So take it easy, rest, wear the walking boot, do the best you can to stay off of it. So there you go. Um, very simple. Anyway, I will give you all the guesses in the world on what the kids want for lunch, but you're only going to need one. We're sitting there talking about it at the doctor, starving to death, all of us, even though we ate before we left. So I don't know. We're hungry and they all want grilled cheese minus Wilder. He's asleep on the couch, but I'm going to give him um, leftover spaghetti from last night. But all the girls want some grilled cheese. And then I think I'm going to have a bagel, like a ham and cheese bagel. I don't know. It just sounds really good to me. So that's what I'm going to have. Make their grilled cheese, have that. And I need to see how many they want. Sometimes the girls want two. Sometimes they just want one. I want two. You want two? Yes. Please. Can you ask Everly how much she wants, how many she wants? Ashlyn wants two. Um, but yeah, very simple. Um, nothing really to say other than just it'll heal. It'll heal. It'll heal. It'll heal. He said she, um, she was asking questions and he was like, no dirt bikes, no four wheelers. You want two? Okay. And Layla wants two. He said, no dirt bikes, no four wheelers. But other than that, kind of do, oh, and no trampoline. But other than that, kind of do what you can tolerate. So there we go. So here's Layla's lunch. Here's Wilder's lunch. Mm -hmm. And here's my lunch and Everly's lunch and Ashlyn's lunch. Okay, I just came downstairs to do cat litter, but I just want to say I feel so, so bad for Everly. She's never been to the beach to play before. She went one time, but she was like six months old. Well, I guess maybe like eight, nine months old. She doesn't even remember. Obviously, she couldn't play at the beach. Um, but this is like her first time ever going to the beach. And she's not even going to be able to like run around and play and get in the water and play. Oh, I feel so, so bad for her. I don't even know what to do. I just, I don't know what to do for her because I don't want her to have to sit out. I don't want her to miss the experience. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Anyway, I'm gonna do the cat litter. Anyway, we have another quote today for a whole house generator. Um, and Gary came home from work early today, which is nice because poor Wilder woke up sick. He's got a cough and a stuffy nose. Well, it's like stuffy, but also runny. He's very congested. Um, and all he wanted was his dad. He kept calling. He always, they, we FaceTime with Gary like a hundred times a day while he's at work, but he just kept saying, I'm going to call dad. I want to call dad. I want to call dad. I want dad to come home. So he kept calling him. He was like, dad, I want you. I want you. I want you. So Gary just came home a little bit ago after maybe like one something. Um, and <laughs> I'm so happy that he's here because the guy that's coming today, he didn't know I called to, um, or I like filled out the form online for a company and the guy that ended up calling him back, he used to work with years ago. So it ended up really cool, but it, I called a couple different companies to get quotes. So we'll see if we go with one. Um, we're going to see like the price difference between a couple of them and things like that. But anyway, it's really neat that the one that is coming today, he used to work with, um, years and years and years ago and Gary will be home. So they get to kind of see each other again today, which is nice. So, um, we'll have that happening very shortly. And then, um, we're just going to have simple tacos tonight for dinner. I am so happy that it's just tacos and that the kids tear them up and eat them and everybody eats and eats and eats and gets full. So that's always a good thing. If I'd made spaghetti and tacos every single week, or every single night. Like if I just rotated them and my kids would be very happy. So Ashlyn wanted a new vanity for her birthday and my mom and dad got it for her. And we've been sitting here putting it together. I'd say we're maybe 75% done. <laughs> so here's her new vanity. 
She loves it. She's finishing putting on the final touches, just the little covers that cover the screws, but everything else is done. <laughs> Ashlyn's doing her chore of the dishwasher. I have the cast iron pan heating up. I'm gonna make two pounds of ground beef, use our homemade taco seasoning and make up some tacos. We're just doing hard shells. We have some tortillas. Um, I have two pounds of this ground beef that I got um, from Aldi the other day. <laughs> Poor Wilder doesn't feel good. And then I have lettuce and avocado to uh, cut up. We have sour cream, cheese, taco sauce. And then I think I might cut up the watermelon, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling cutting up the watermelon right now, but I might do it. All right, we've got taco meat. We've got shells. We've got tortillas. We have gluten-free tortillas. We have toppings. And that's all we're going to have. And we're going to use these because that's what we do here on Taco Nights. These actually help hold the tacos really, really well. Like even if you don't use them for anything else besides tacos, it helps. I mean, you just set them in there and it just holds them up perfectly. It's amazing. Simple taco dinner. Okay, I'm gonna end our video because I have one sick kiddo. He's not feeling well, this poor dude. Um, and we need to get him taken care of and then we gotta get Layla to bed too. So I'm gonna close out our video and we will see you guys tomorrow. I was gonna make something for dinner, but then Haley and her boyfriend are gonna be here. So now I need to switch it up and figure out what in the world I'm gonna make tomorrow. So who knows? I was gonna make beef tips, but I guess I'll just save that for the next day because I don't have enough of the beef tips. I only have a little bit. Um, so yeah, she wants you to chase her, Ashlyn. Lila said, Ashlyn, you wanna chase me around the house? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.